Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, tool shop in Roblox Studio. So uh, first off, add a screen GUR and start a GUR. Uh, you can rename it to shop GUR if you want. Um, then add a frame. You can customize it. I'm gonna make it bigger. Like that. Um, so now we can add a button. Uh, so this is gonna be the open shop button. So if you just look at this quickly, like that. Um, you can add some text. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm uh, gonna remove the um, uh, black border thing because it looks very bad, like that. Border size pixel to zero. Do the same with the label. Can make that background transparency to one. Um, can get a bit of font. Um, there you go, and change the text to shop. Uh, or tool shop if you want tool shop. Now we need a um, close button. So just ma customize the button. Also, can rename it to shop. Like that. Um, so now that we have our frame, um, let's add another text button for the close button so we can close the, f the frame with whenever we want. Um, so we can change the text to X so it looks like a close button. Like that. So now we can start scripting. So, add a local script into the open button, and we can do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function, then two brackets, then go down and do script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals to true. So this is gonna make the frame visible when we press it. So now we can duplicate this local script and drag it into the close button. And then change um, script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible because it's true. Um, you can do script dot parent dot parent. So remove the frame and uh, change true to false. So when we press it, it just disappear like that. Now we have a shop, so we can test it. Press play. So um, you should be able to close it and open it. There you go. So when you close, when you open it, it it shows it, and when you close it, it closes. <laughs> and you can do it again and again. So that works. Now we're gonna make the tool buttons. So add um, a text button. So one is gonna be for the first tool. So for example, the sword. Change the font, text color, like that. So this is gonna be for the sword, for example. Um, rename sword to, to your tool. Like this, that's cool. Now I can duplicate the script, I mean the, um, the button, and you can change the text, so sword to pistol, and you can do it again, and you can change pistol to, for example, sword 2. Actually, I'm gonna make sword, sword 1, sword 2, and sword 3, so we have 
tree sword like that so now we have our tree buds so what we can do now is um, in s replicate storage add a remote event and uh, I can rename the remote event to sword, uh, sword one event and duplicate duplicate it again and again and short sword one to sword two and sword three like that now we have our three remote events now we can add a logo script into each um, buttons and we can do game dot replicate storage dot sword one um actually no <laughs> sorry so um write script dot parent dot mouse in one click connect function two brackets and you can do game dot replicate storage dot sword event one fire server like that so it should looks like this now you can close this off and you can duplicate the scripts into uh, every buttons and change sword event sword one event to sword two event and the same for the third one so sword three event like that now we have our, our scripts done now what we can do is add a script into server script service so a normal one and you can rename it to buy tools like that so um now what we can do is write game dot replicate storage dot sword event one dot on client event on server event sorry connect function and player like that um, and you can write if player not leader stats not coins dot value equals to uh, equals equals to the price of your tool so 10 for example and then player dot leader stats dot coins dot value equals to player dot leader stats dot coins dot value and then minus 10 like that so um that's it for now uh, i can close this off and now we're gonna make our leader stat with our coins so Make a script, rename it to leader stats, and you can write player um wait game dot players dot player added connect function and player local leader stats equals to instance dot new folder like that leader stats dot name equals to speech marks leader stats and then leader stats dot parent equals to player now local coins equals to instance dot new and then end value and coins dot name equals to coins with a capital C and coins dot value equals to 100 you can add a quick note like um, this number is the um, coins you have when you start the game like that uh, also in the script if you want to add a quick note like that you need to do like two things like that and you can start saying your text um yeah so um coins so go down and do coins dot parent equals to leader stats uh yeah that's it 
now we can close this off and now uh, what we can do is go to the toolbox and insert our sword so sword you can add this one and uh, that's already good now we can change the color so we know okay, the thing so uh, can we change the color yeah we can so we have our, our neon one why not have it one so this is gonna be the the sword um three now the sword two which is gonna be i don't know what color yellow that's good and the other one two different color green that's good now we have our three swords uh what we can do now is rename them to sword one sword two and sword three now we have our two three sword so now drag uh, your uh tools in server storage and you can go back to the buy tool script and you can do game dot server storage dot sword one clone dot parent equals to player dot backpack so when when um the remote event is gonna be activated uh it's gonna check if the player has enough coins and if it does if the player does then he get the sword now we can duplicate this and drag it uh, and do it three times so i mean the number of your tools so uh change uh sword one event to sword two event and sword three event then change sword one to sword two and sword three like that um and we can change the price so the sword two is gonna be 20 and the tree is gonna be 30 like that so that's good and now we can test this off so we can close this frame and uh, you can play it now it should work so when you click the button you, you should um you should get it so as you can see we have 100 coins so i set the coins to to 100 so you can actually buy them and click the buttons doesn't work for some reason uh wait okay so um i just realized a mistake so go in your buy tool and here it's not equals equals it's is higher or equals to 10 so do it everywhere like that now it should work And as you can see, so when we click, um, our coins remove, and we get the sword. So I got the sword, the green one for ten dollars, like think ten coins. And the sword two, which is the yellow one, for twenty coins. And this one for uh, thirty coins. So as you can see, um when i buy the swords i get uh my cash go down and i get the swords so that's how you make a working tour gui i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and um also um if you have any questions go into the comments and you can 
you can ask me the questions. Uh, I always respond, so yeah. And I hope you enjoyed the, the video, and bye.